What went through my mind when the call was made for us to give uh, our first fruit offering? I think for me, it was like, not now, not now. Uh, simply because the situation at home was uh, dire because my wife had just been admitted to hospital. Um, I, we had exhausted our inpatient insurance cover, so I knew I was supposed to be uh, paying uh, for her discharge. When that time comes, it was at the point when uh, I just realized that um, everything was not working right. Uh, and I was just asking myself, how can I do this? Uh, it's too heavy a burden for me. We are on one salary and uh, uh, the situation hadn't been made easier because my uh, wife's regime for medication had changed and an astronomical figure had been added on my monthly expenses for something that she had to do every month. And it was just, and something that I couldn't manage, it was untenable. In Proverbs chapter three and verse nine to 10, God asks us to honor him with our substance. Some versions say wealth, others possessions, other is money, and with the first fruits of your increase. And then there's a promise, and then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats with lots of wine. And I start realizing, no, 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 actually, Mavuno is uh, providing me with an opportunity to honor God with my first fruits. Mavuno was providing me with an opportunity to honor God with my wealth. And there was a promise that was coming with it. In fact, it's like my scales fell off. It's like my, I was re-energized. I was like, no, 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 no. This is an amazing opportunity we must take. I go home uh, that evening. I talk to my wife. I tell her, by the way, we are going to pay these fast fruits and we are going to pay it in full, not even in in, in, in portions. And I didn't know what that would mean. So I wrote to HR and just asked these guys, take my Feb salary, take all of it. By the way, after I wrote that, something so crazy happened. The following week, my wife was admitted in hospital. A few days later, my landlord wrote to me that he's increasing rent by 10,000 bob. And I was like, oh my goodness, do I go back to HR? Do I tell them that, oh, they can now take my fast fruit payments in faces? But I just thought, chose, no, 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 no. Let me trust in this God. But even as I was wondering, how do I uh, go to work? One of the things that happened very early on, one of our congregants sent me some money and then sent me text and said, uh, the, the Mpesa I've sent you is for your fuel to be coming to work and back. Uh, somewhere through the month, uh, towards mid-month, a guy I was going to do their wedding for uh, at cost uh, gave me their Mercedes-Benz, classic by the way, E240, fully fueled. I used this car for the rest of the month. Someone whom I confide in, one uh, just pulled me aside and told me, uh, I'd like you to give me your uh, account number for your emergency fund and uh, I want to deposit money for that procedure that your wife uh, goes through every month. And uh, that evening, the most stupendous thing happened because uh, someone who I wouldn't have expected to be at the church grounds that late in the evening, five o'clock, and me, who had left the camp, because uh, we were having a camp as a church uh, that, uh, that weekend, um, I was supposed to have been home. I should have left for home far much earlier. I was too tired, I'd preached through sermons. Um, and I just hung out in that space. I think I hung out because of this guy. Because when he met me, he just told me, Pasi, come, I really needed to talk to you. And when they pulled me aside, they told me, uh, I've just been wondering about your landlord, rent issues, and things like that. Do you have a plot where you can build? I tried to explain myself to look good before this guy. Oh, there was this thing we were doing uh, uh, some time back, and it kinda doesn't look like it matured. It could have backfired. He was like, no, 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 hush. Um, I have an offer for you and for your wife. It's not far from where you live right now. He takes me through Google Maps, shows me a place, and says, I have a plot here. You go and look at it. 
if you and your wife are okay with it, I'm going to give it to you for you guys to build a family home. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my goodness me. Who does that? Who does that? I just felt God had come through. Not even in something that I was considering because I'd actually canceled that part of my life. Um, I'd given up the thing that I would ever build in the city. I'd moved on because for me, uh, turning 54 this year, I was just thinking, that's beyond me. When you look at the different seasons, people should be doing things. This was not supposed to have been my season. But God has come through. And now, my wife and I have a place where we can actually build a family home. Let me tell you guys, there is an amazing God opportunity in the Free the Future campaign. Whatever is in it for you is a God blessing waiting for you. A key that you need to use to unlock amazing blessings of God that no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor any mind been able to comprehend. That this God who's able to do exceedingly and abundantly much more than you can ever ask, think or imagine is ready and longing and willing to actually do for you.